हेलो गाइस गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सेशन एंड वेलकम टू द इंडिया मोस्ट कॉम्प्रहेंसिव प्रिपरेशन प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज दी बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रेप एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन टू द गेट पीवाईक्यू सीरीज यस एज यू नो वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग द गेट प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस स्पेसिफिकली ऑफ द पास्ट फाइव इयर्स बिकॉज दोज फाइव इयर्स विल गिव यू द बेटर एंड द परफेक्ट आइडिया व्हाट इज द ट्रेंड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द लेवल ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वॉट कैन बी expected in the upcoming years and also it's going to definitely undoubtedly serve as a good source of practice as well okay so in this session we'll cover up the questions of electromagnetic theory for the year 2018 to 2022 re related to the double e and ec very very good evening everyone related to the double e and ec that means the common syllabus will be taken care for today the common syllabus will be taken care for today right just a moment let me see all okay here yeah looks good good evening good evening quickly update your friends share the session to all the students so that uh, many can get benefited from it very very good evening everyone chalo guys let's get started okay let's get started quickly oh ho just a second guys what is this just wait a moment sorry okay chalo yeah let's get started guys let's get moving ahead all good okay so in case somebody new to my session this is a brief intro about me this is your men mentor and educator rakesh i have secured all india rank 9th in the gate examination completed my masters from indian institute of science and these are the major area of expertise that i have been dealing for more than 12 years now and guys the big thing the big thing the big show coming for you once again yes the byju's exam prep once again bringing you the gate booster shots in the form of maha marathon revise everything just one month before the gate examination right in just around 12 days we ensure to complete your revision and your preparation more solid through this maha marathons and trust me guys you can hear to the topper stock of the previous year toppers including the all india rank 1 of the gate 22 several toppers of gate 21 attended this and got quite significant benefits in the last month of the preparation so we are going live from 3rd january double e ec in and computer science students do not forget to subscribe the channel in case you are not subscribed yet and guys one more update right if you are in dilemma whether gate or esc can be focused together if yes how how to balance the gate and esc preparation together all your favorite abhinav negi sir mtech from iit delhi and more than 10 plus years of experience is going to come live tomorrow with a free important workshop on the byju's exam prep app right how to prepare for gate and esc simultaneously this is coming live tomorrow 8 pm tomorrow 8 pm right all right guys Hello guys so we are all ready now and this is the first question for you for today the first question for tonight a uh, um, one micro coulomb point charge is held at the origin of the cartesian coordinate system if the second point charge of 10 micro coulomb is moved from 0, 0,10,0 to 5, 5,5,5 and subsequently to 5,0,0 then the total work done is how much sir then the total work done is equal to how much tell me the total work is how much okay it's a double e21 one mark question now why it is a simple one mark question let me give you the simple explanation about this okay if i just draw the coordinates here for a moment right if i just draw the coordinates here the regular x y z cartesian coordinates okay let's assume this is x y and z the point charge has been placed at the origin all right okay so this is where a charge of 1 micro coulomb is placed this is the source charge okay 0 comma 0 comma 0 but there are three points given okay work done in moving the particle from 0 comma 10 comma 0 let's say suppose this is a then this is b and this is some point c let's say this is b and this is some point a so i go from a i go to b and then i go to c but we all know that electrostatic field is a conservative field electrostatic field is a conservative field and potential is independent of the path okay v which is minus integral e dot dl is independent of path 
independent of the path taken. It only depends on initial and final points. It only depends on initial to final point. So, when you move a particular charge from A to B to C, A to B to C, the potential difference will only be taken as the potential difference from A to C. Potential difference between the points A to C and D, that is given by the Vc minus Va. That is given by the Vc minus Va. That is given by the Vc minus Va, right? Okay. So, Vc minus Va. Then, what is the work done? What is the work done? That is Q into V. So, the work done, dear, okay, let me write down the work done from A, B, C. Work done in moving the particle from A to B to C is equal to Q into potential A, B, C, but that is simply equal to Q, V, A, C as I told you and V, A, C is known as the V, C minus V, A. Which charge? The charge that you are moving. Work done to move the 10 micro coulomb of charge. The work done to move the 10 micro coulomb, I think. Yes, that is a 10 micro coulomb. So, this is going to be the 10 micro coulomb. Now, what is the potential at C and what is the potential at A? So, dear, what is the A point? A is 0, 10, 0, y axis. Pe. Okay, this is the A point, 0, 10, 0. And what is the C point? The C point is 5 double 0, that is on the x axis. That is the point C. Okay, that is the point C. So, what is the distance between the origin to the point C? Okay, VC, let's say this is the distance R1, which is 5, and the origin to the point A, let's say this is the distance R2, which is equal to 10, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 10, 0. Okay, now what is the formula for the potential? Okay, this is Q, okay, and this is the 1 micro coulomb of charge. What is the potential at any point? Potential at any point is given by the formula KQ by R, where this Q means the source charge, 1 micro coulomb of charge, and K in the SI units in the free space is 9 into 10 power 9, value of R rakh denge. So, here let me just substitute and get the answer, guys. Okay, so it is going to be 10 micro coulomb, 10 into 10 power minus 6 into the potential at the point C, which is going to be KQ, okay, which is 9 into 10 power 9, isko common hi le lenge. Okay, that is 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 into the Q. This Q is 1 micro coulomb is whole multiplied by 1 by R. So, at the point C, R is 5 and at the point A, R is equal to 10. R is equal to the 10. So, 1 by 5 minus 1 by 10. Very, very good evening all. Keep joining. Okay, so this is eventually 10 power minus 11, 9 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 into 0.2 minus 0.1 is 0.1. So, this is total 9 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 of joules and the answer is 9 millijoules. The answer is 9 millijoules. The answer is equal to the 9 millijoules, right? NAT type question, the answer is 9 millijoules. All right, dear. Let's move ahead to the next question then. Let us move ahead to the next question. Done, 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 done. Next question ready for you. All okay, guys. Any confusion here? Let me see. All okay here. Just a moment. Yeah. Okay, chalo, cool. So, let us move ahead to the next question then. Next question, uh, again, EE 2022 marks. So, EE plus EC combined questions we will keep taking. The static electric field inside a dielectric medium with relative permittivity epsilon r equal to 2.25 expressed in cylindrical coordinate system is given by 2R AR. So, see, normally cylindrical coordinate system, you know, normally in most of the books you study as rho phi z, but you know, naam mein kuch rakha hai. rho is the radius of cylinder. We can also call it as R. We can also call it as R, R phi z, one and the same thing. Here they have written in terms of R. Okay, so what is the actual electric field given to you? 2R, so let's say 2 rho A rho, that is 2 rho A rho plus 3 by 3 by rho A phi plus 6 A z. That is some electric field given to me. Now, Okay, if the above expression represents a valid electrostatic field inside the medium, then the volume charge density. The question is volume charge density associated with this field, a very regular question, okay, very regular question, 50% um, or more than that round tube at least, okay. So, this question is like, na 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 raja, sabko alag alag calculate karke add karenge, that is a waste of time, even if you do so na, 
you may get the correct answer you can get the correct answer but the potential difference is independent of the path taken because electrostatic field is conservative field if you use that point the question is simple and what i think just because of that point only it is a one mark question otherwise to thoda se lengthy ho jayega so you have to mix that concept that electrostatic field is conservative in nature okay conservativeness of electric field okay so what is the volume charge density guys what is rho v gauss law will come into the picture one of the very expected question is on gauss law directly gauss law or calculation based on it okay rho v is equal to del dot d but d is equal to epsilon e d is equal to epsilon e right so it is epsilon is a constant write down right side that is del dot d okay del dot e so first of all guys what is the del dot e and what is the epsilon epsilon is given by epsilon r epsilon not and epsilon r is 2.25 epsilon not wo last mein put karenge but let me first first put down the formula for del dot e everybody del dot e divergence and it is cylindrical coordinate system so very carefully use the formula for divergence good evening shiva it is the cylindrical coordinate system so your formula is 1 by rho del by del rho of rho f rho we uh, vector here is e okay so e rho plus 1 by rho del by del phi of the e phi plus del by del z of the e z okay now i will place down the value this is known as 1 by rho del by del rho of rho e rho right that is rho into 2 rho plus 1 by rho del by del phi of the phi component but phi component is a function of rho and last is del by del z of 6 now dekho differentiation of 6 is zero no doubt theek hai now the grids will not help you in divergence ravi grid grid will help you in the uh, the curl and the gradient cases okay del by del phi of 3 by rho rho is constant with respect to phi partial differentiation and this is also zero sir and only thing is rho square differentiation 2 rho 2 to the 4 rho will be cancelled so this is after solving this is coming up as 4 right 4 and 0 and 0 so your answer is equal to the 4 answer is equal to 4 this is the del dot e so what is the rho v dear what is the rho v right rho v is given by 2.25 epsilon not multiplied by the divergence calculation which is 4 answer is 9 epsilon not answer is 9 epsilon not 9 epsilon not it is the d very expected question repeatedly either direct gauss law or questions based on the flux calculation question based on the flux calculation us pe bhi aate right this is a double e 2022 marks question let's move ahead to the next question ec 212 marks question ec 2021 two marks question for the vector field d is equal to rho cos square phi a rho plus z square sin square phi a phi in cylindrical coordinate system once again cylindrical coordinate system okay uh, what is the net flux of d leaving the closed surface of the cylinder so definition is given to you rounded off up to two decimal places chalo bahut badhiya net flux of the d okay we need to calculate the net flux and which is of course given by the formula integral d dot ds where d is the flux density and that is given to you that is given to you but but the question is over the closed surface dear and whenever it is the closed surface you can apply the gauss divergence theorem surface integral can be converted to volume integral of divergence of the vector so according to the gauss divergence theorem according to the gauss divergence theorem this can become integral del dot d integral del dot d dv sir integral of the del dot d dv del dot d dv yes, sir theek hai this is the del dot d dv chalo cool this is known as del dot d dv bahut badhiya okay now what is the divergence once again first let's calculate the divergence and then we will come and substitute here i need what i need the divergence just like the previous question okay and again it's a spherical a cylindrical coordinate system let me write down the d rho cos square phi a rho plus z square sin square phi a phi z square sin square phi a phi okay now what is the del dot d formula already written in the last Uh, question let us directly substitute 1 by rho del by del rho of the rho f rho okay the the rho component is rho cos square phi plus 1 by rho del by del phi of the phi component directly which is z square sin square phi that's it plus del by del z of the z component but that is actually missing here there is no z component here 
ओके देर इज नो जेड कॉम्पोनेंट हेयर बढ़िया सो नाउ दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बाय रो रो स्क्वायर का डिफ्रेंसिएशन टू रो कॉस स्क्वायर फाइव इज कॉन्स्टेंट प्लस वन बाय रो डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ साइन स्क्वायर फाइव इज गिवन बाय द साइन टू फाइव अच्छा जी तो हेयर रो एंड रो कैंसिल सो वी हैव गॉट द डेल डॉट डी फाइनली डेल डॉट डी इज टू कॉस स्क्वायर फाइव प्लस वन बाय रो जेड स्क्वायर साइन टू फाइव ओके वी विल नाउ कंटिन्यू द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस ओके जाई इज इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल ऑफ दिस जाई इज इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम अच्छा व्हाट इज द वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल डीवी ओके व्हाट इज द डिफरेंशियल वॉल्यूम एलिमेंट इन द सिलेंड्रिकल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम इट इज रो डी रो डी फाइव डी जेड रो डी रो डी फाइव डी जेड ओके राइट हाउ Why this? Why not this? Why that? Why not that? I have taken up lots of sessions on that, even on the YouTube as well. You can go through my cylindrical coordinate systems or spherical coordinate systems lectures available on the YouTube. Right now, let's focus on uh, you know applying the concepts learned earlier into this question. Okay, so what is going to be the flux now? What is going to be the flux now? The flux is now. volume integral that will be expressed as triple integral of the divergence divergence vector is 2 cos square phi plus 1 by rho 1 by rho z square sin 2 phi is whole multiplied by rho d rho d phi dz that is the value of the dv substituted correct that is the value of the dv substituted so uh, this is going to be the first one is Two rho, nah, ha, correct. Two rho cos square phi d rho d phi d z. And second one is second. Me rho rho cancel hoga. So it is simply integral z square sine two phi d rho d phi d z. Okay. Now if I start, if I start integrating this two rho ka integral is rho square, and then I will put down the limit. ओके देन आई विल पुट डाउन द लिमिट रो इज थ्री ओके रेडियस ऑफ थ्री पूरे वॉल्यूम में लेना है तो रेडियस विल बी जीरो टू थ्री बिकॉज आई कन्वर्टेड टू द वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल जेड इज गिवन जीरो से टू एंड टू कवर अप द इंटायर सिलेंडर द क्लोज सर्फेस इफ यू हैव टू कवर अप द इंटायर क्लोज सर्फेस ऑफ द सिलेंडर सो अजी मुथल रेंज इज जीरो से टू पाई द अजी मुथल रेंज विल बी द जीरो से टू पाई तो रो इज जीरो से थ्री अजी मुथल रेंज देखो डी जेड का इंटीग्रल जेड यहाँ पहले फाइव वाला लिख ले फॉर द फाइव इंटीग्रल यू हैव टू इंटीग्रेट दिस कॉ स्क्वायर फाइव ओके हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट दिस कॉ स्क्वायर फाइव इसको अलग से देख लेते हैं जस्ट हैव अ लुक हेयर ओके इफ यू आर गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट दिस कॉ स्क्वायर फाइव डी फाइव फ्रॉम द लिमिट जीरो से टू पाई ओके यू कैन इंटीग्रेट दिस यूजिंग वन माइनस या वन प्लस कॉस टू फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई टू ओके इसका इंटीग्रल आएगा एंड देन वन बाई टू इंटीग्रल इज वन बाई टू फाइव एंड कॉस टू फाइव इंटीग्रल इज नोन एज द साइन टू फाइव डिवाइड बाई टू 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 फोर नाउ सेपरेटली पुट डाउन द लिमिट ओके नाउ साइन फोर पाई एंड साइन जीरो बोथ आर जीरो तो आंसर इज टू पाई बाई टू दिस पार्ट इज पाई एंड द सेकेंड आंसर विल बी जीरो ओके सो ये आंसर आ गया डायरेक्टली पाई आई एम राइटिंग द आंसर ओके देन द डी जेड इंटीग्रल इज जेड जेड इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू थ्री प्लस ओके प्लस डी रो इंटीग्रल रो रो इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू थ्री ओके जेड नाउ साइन टू फाइव इंटीग्रल डियर साइन टू फाइव इंटीग्रल इज माइनस कॉस टू फाइव डिवाइड बाई टू बट लिमिट जीरो से टू पाई एंड डी जेड इंटीग्रल सॉरी जेड स्क्वायर इंटीग्रल है तो दैट इज जेड क्यूब डिवाइड बाई थ्री सेपरेटिंग द वेरिएबल आई हैव सॉल्व दिस जेड का वैल्यू जीरो से थ्री था या जीरो से टू था सॉरी जेड इज बिटवीन जीरो से टू जेड इज बिटवीन द जीरो से टू ओके नाउ डियर वॉट इज द आंसर फॉर दिस एक्सप्रेशन What is the answer for this expression? Have a look into this. Cos two phi. Valleys be can sakte. Valleys be can sakte. Usually for higher powers, valleys is suggestible. But before applying valleys formula, you have to take care. Zero se two pi. It has to be converted to zero two pi and then zero two pi by two. But have a look into this. Cos two phi. Cos four pi is one. Lower limit cos zero is also one. So one minus one. This converts to zero. This converts to zero. So you are only left with this one. You are only left with this one. एंड सो योर आंसर इसको यहाँ पे अलग से लिख देते हैं दिस वन विल बी जीरो सो योर आंसर इज इक्वल टू थ्री स्क्वायर दैट इज नाइन देन इन टू पाई राइट इन टू टू ओके प्लस जीरो सो योर आंसर इज सिंपली एटीन पाई कुलूम्स योर आंसर इज वॉट एटीन पाई कुलूम्स राइट तो अराउंड हाउ मच लेट मी जस्ट कैलकुलेट एंड गिव मी द न्यूमेरिक वैल्यू टू यू एज वेल 
can be directly looking like a vector based question what is the del dot e and this time it is the cartesian coordinate simple hai guys so what is going to be the del dot e what is the del dot e take out del by del x of the x component 4x del by del y of 5y del by del z of 3z is 3 okay so, the del dot e is simply equal to 4x plus i. Tell me anywhere if there is any calculation or formula troubling you. Please put that as a doubt separately. Because I just assume that formulas at least are settled with you right now. Okay. So, del by del x of x component, del by del y of y component, del by del z of z component. So, now you are just there to integrate 4x plus 8. That is the divergence and dv which is dx dy dz. Because it is the Cartesian coordinate to dx dv is just dx dy dz. Okay, simple problem 4x integral is 2x square plus 8 integral 8x integration with x done limit of x 0 say 1 then integral dy integral dy will be y limit of y 0 to 1 integral dz will be z limit of z 0 to 1 because it is variable separable I have done it in one shot. Okay, 4x plus 8 is the function of x separated then separate dy separate dz if there is a mixing of the function then you can't separate it. Okay, so yeah ho gaya kitna? Upper limit 2 plus 8, lower limit 0. Here upper limit just 1, here 1, answer is 10, finish. 2 marks, just like easily grabbing it, just like easily grabbing 2 marks. This is just like easily grabbing 2 marks, isn't it? The free, 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 almost free type of 2 marks, just free with the fundamental calculations are correct. And that too Cartesian coordinates. This is like a normal, you know, any other branch student also, any other branch student who has just studied vector calculus can solve this question. Because this is Cartesian coordinate. Yeah, previous questions were cylindrical. Other branch students can solve it. But this can be solved by any other branch students also. Because we know that E is electric field. But the question may be not saying. There is some vector E. Find the volume integral of del dot E. Anybody can solve it. Cartesian may anybody can solve it. So, for uh, especially for the branches of double E and EC, this should be very simple. This should be like a laddu question. This can be handled by other branch students also. Next question. Pe jate. Okay. EC 2022, 2 marks. Dear EC 2022, 2 marks. Yeah, again next. Okay. Again, the electrostatic field, the displacement density vector is given x cube plus y cube plus x y, x cube y plus y cube j plus x y square k. Okay. And then consider a cubical region centered at the origin. Yes, centered on a chair. Centered at the origin with each side of the length 1 meter and the vertices are plus minus 0 0.5, plus minus 0 0.5, plus minus 0 0.5. What is the electric charge enclosed within R? Hey, electric charge enclosed is also equal to the xi. That is what is one of the fundamental definition of Gauss law. Fundamental definition of Gauss law. Very similar question. So, xi is equal to Q enclosed and how do you calculate xi? Integral d dot ds. Integral d dot ds. How do you calculate the xi, sir? It is integral of d dot ds. Achha ji. If it is integral d dot ds, okay, again, it is what? It is a cubical region. Cubical region is again closed. And because it is closed, I will apply the Gauss divergence theorem again. And because of the Gauss divergence theorem, this is again del dot d dv, volume integral del dot d dv, sir. It is again equal to the del dot d dv. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The cube whose center is at 0, 0, 0. That is what uh, uh, Savarapu Balu. Okay. 
सो डेल डॉट डी डी भी ये सॉल्व करना है हमें ओके सो अगेन फर्स्ट लेट्स टेक द डाइवर्जेंस ओके लेट एस डू इट हेयर अगेन इट्स अ कार्टिशन क्वेश्चन तो वेरी सिंपल टू अप्रोच वेरी सिंपल टू अप्रोच सो वॉट इज द डाइवर्जेंस डेल डॉट डी लेट मी राइट डाउन हेयर डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट विथ एक्स थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ वाई कॉम्पोनेंट विथ वाई थ्री वाई स्क्वायर डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ जेड कॉम्पोनेंट विथ जेड एक्स वाई स्क्वायर विथ जेड जीरो ओके सो योर डाइवर्जेंस इज सिंपल थ्राइज ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर सब्सटीट्यूट एंड गेट द आंसर दैट्स इट ओके सो वी आर नाउ गोट गोइंग टू गेट जाई और दैट इज चार्ज इंक्लोज इज इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल दैट इज ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल ऑफ डेल डॉट डी डेल डॉट डी आ गया है थ्राइज ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इन टू डी वी फॉर कार्टिशियन कॉर्डिनेट अगेन इट इज सिंपल बट अ टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन गेट ई सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन डियर राइट so this is thrice of x square plus y square 3 dx dy dz and then this should be equal to 3 okay outside let's integrate with respect to x first x square y sorry integrating with x to x cube by 3 plus x y square this is the integral with dx okay this is the integral with dx and then uh, yes oh sorry एक एक करके हम कर लेंगे फर्स्ट आई इंटीग्रेट विद इसको पूरा ही सेपरेट कर दिया सो एक्स क्यूब बाई थ्री डी एक्स डी वाई डी जेड तो एक्स क्यूब बाई थ्री देन वाई एंड देन जेड प्लस वाई स्क्वायर सो देर एक्स डी एक्स इंटीग्रल विल बी एक्स वाई स्क्वायर इंटीग्रल विल बी वाई क्यूब बाई थ्री दिस इज जेड ओके द लिमिट्स आर द लिमिट्स आर देखो माइनस वन टू वन माइनस वन टू वन माइनस वन टू वन बस बिकॉज इट इज अ इवन सिमेट्रिक फंक्शन प्लीज नोट दैट इट इज अवन सिमेट्रिक फंक्शन क्लियर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इवन सिमेट्रिक विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स ऑल्सो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई ऑल्सो इवन सिमेट्रिक है दैट इज वाई बेटर टू टेक इट एस बेटर टू टेक इट एस टू वाइस टू वाइस देखो इवन इफ यू डोंट टेक इट एस टू वाइस हेयर यू विल राइट माइनस पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव ओके बट अल्टीमेटली इट इज गोइंग टू बी ओके x cube point five minus of minus point five five that will be twice of the point five cube. Okay, so better to take it twice. This is minus point five to point five to take twice of zero uh, to point five. That is what I want to suggest you here. Okay, so better I will take it as two cross two cross two and all limits will be zero to one zero to point five zero to one nee zero to a zero to a zero to a. Okay, then we will write out. Okay. So this is zero to zero point five. Limits are given plus minus point five. Limits are given, correct? This is again zero to point five. This is again zero to point five. This part is the z. Similarly here, zero to point five, zero to point five, zero to point five. Okay. And then here, let me multiply. This is three and multiplied by eight separately. Okay. So this is equal to now twenty four. ओके पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव देखो ये आ गया वन बाय थ्री बट पॉइंट फाइव रेस टू दी पावर फाइव दैट इज वन बाय थर्टी टू प्लस हेयर ऑल्सो वन बाय थ्री पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव का क्यूब पॉइंट फाइव का क्यूब दैट इज वन बाय थर्टी टू अगेन ओके सो दिस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर इन टू वन बाय थ्री एंड वन बाय थर्टी टू प्लस वन बाय थर्टी टू विल बी वन बाय सिक्सटीन एट बाय सिक्सटीन फाइनल आंसर इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव 0.5 फाइनल आंसर इज़ 0.5 ओके, ओके, सो आई एम जस्ट नॉट स्पेंडिंग टाइम डिस्कसिंग इंटीग्रल, इंटीग्रल यू वांट टू टू सॉल्व द द द दैट्स अप यू। लेट्स लेट्स टॉक टॉक अबाउट अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड एंड अप्रोच अप्रोच ऑफ़ क्वेश्चन। क्वेश्चन वाज़ सी What is that given? Again, d given. Again, it is the d given. Again, it is the cylindrical coordinate system. You can again call the d as. If you want, you can again write down the d as 15 a rho. If you have the habit of writing rho phi z, okay, plus 2 rho a phi, plus 3 rho z a z. Okay. The total electric flux in coulomb. Right. So once again the same approach. Right. The total electric flux is integral d dot d s. ओके बाय अ सॉलिड सिलेंडर अगेन सिलेंडर है तो क्लोज्ड है क्लोज्ड है तो गॉस डाइवर्जेंस थ्योरम एंड बिकॉज ऑफ गॉस डाइवर्जेंस थ्योरम इट इज अगेन इंटीग्रल डेल डॉट डी डी वी करेक्ट इट इज अगेन इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल डेल डॉट डी डी वी ओके सो सिमिलर क्वेश्चन है सिमिलर कैलकुलेशन 
kindly complete this as the homework okay i hope you will follow this you can try this as a homework because it is the very same pattern already three to four questions solved on the same pattern okay let's uh, go for something new now okay let's go for something new now yes here it is come to this question now the capacitance okay the capacitance of an air filled parallel plate capacitor a capacitors are important specifically for double e specifically for double e the capacitance of an air filled parallel plate capacitor is 60 picofarad when a dielectric slab whose thickness is half the distance between the plates is placed on one of the plates covering it entirely the capacitance become 86 picofarad the capacitance becomes the 86 picofarad neglecting the fringing effects okay that is the external fields away uh, from the corners relative permittivity of the dielectric Deco. first of all it is air filled okay and when it is air filled the uh, capacitance is 60 picofarad okay whose thickness is half the distance Deco. the first situation if i explain you in the first situation you have completely air filled capacitor okay you have completely air filled capacitor okay let's say these are the plates having the plate area s let's say the plate area is s and the separation between them is d and in the first case it is filled with air so epsilon is equal to epsilon naught and capacitance is then given by the formula capacitance is given by the formula epsilon naught, epsilon naught s divided by the d the formula for uh, moderately but for double is very important for ec also you must go through it especially uh, the parallel plate capacitor case okay chalo Although EC may cylindrical capacitor may be question pucha ja chuka hai pehle, so you must not neglect it. Okay. Now, second situation if a dielectric slab whose thickness is half the distance between the plates is placed on one of the plates covering it entirely, the capacitance will be 86. Now, this capacitance was also given. This is 90 picofarad. Okay, this value is 90 picofarad. Second situation may I have the same two plates separated by the same distance, but half of it. Covering it entirely, there is a dielectric slab with epsilon equal to epsilon r epsilon naught. There is a dielectric slab placed and this covers half of the separation. So, this is d by 2 and this is d by 2. It covers only half. So, what do you have here? Is the air only? Is the air only? Okay. And now, this effectively is going to become the case of a this effectively going to become the case of a series capacitance and that is why the C equivalent here will be the C1 plus C2. Let's say this capacitance is C1 and this is the C2. What is going to be the C1? Again, epsilon naught S. Plate area remains to be same. Area is the S divided by the D by 2 actually. Okay. Plus, plus look into this. Epsilon. Epsilon is epsilon R epsilon naught. Okay. Into plate area S divided by D by 2. So, what all you can take common from the C equivalent and this is given to you as 86 picofarad. Yeah, given it. The final capacitance is 86 picofarad. Simple question ho gaya ab. Okay. So, dear, in the C equivalent, what I'll, I can take common? Epsilon naught S divided by D by 2. Epsilon naught S divided by D by 2. If I take common, I am left with 1 plus epsilon R and this is 86 picofarad. Okay. 2 upar chala gaya. So, this is 2 epsilon naught S by D. Okay. Into 1 plus epsilon R is 86 picofarad but what is the value of epsilon naught s by d that is 90 so twice into 90 into 1 plus epsilon r is 86 picofarad so what should be the value of 1 plus epsilon r is 86 divided by ye bhi pico mein tha to pico pico cancelled 90 was also in picofarad so this is 86 divided by 180 and hence the value of epsilon r will be epsilon r will be the capacitance then become 8. Oh, earlier it was 60. Sorry, yeah, that's what it was earlier 60. This is earlier given to you as 60 picofarad, and now it has become 86. Correct now, it has become the 86. Okay, so this is uh, to be taken as 60. This one is 60. So, 86 is divided by the 20 no still somewhere there is some issue calculation mein kuch aaya hai kya? Are yaar, sorry guys i don't know why i've used that i'm so sorry c equivalent series capacitor 
सीरीज कैपेसिटर गाइस C1 C2 डिवाइडेड बाय द C1 प्लस C2 सॉरी फॉर अ स्मॉल एरर हियर ओके आई थिंक इन हरी बरी आई यूज दैट C1 C2 डिवाइडेड बाय C1 प्लस C2 बिकॉज़ इट्स अ सीरीज कैपेसिटेंस केस एंड नाउ व्हाट इज द C1 एंड C2 दैट यू हैव टू सब्स्टिट्यूट ओके दैट वी विल सब्स्टिट्यूट ऑल राइट यस रवि यस ओके सो व्हाट इज द C1 नाउ इसको थोड़ा सा अलग से लिख लेते हैं एक बार so c1 is going to be it's better to write down separately epsilon not s divided by d by 2 so that becomes 2 epsilon not s by d and that is equal to 2 into 60 so these are known values we'll use them 120 pico farad right similarly c2 will be epsilon r epsilon not s divided by d by 2 the rest all is same so this becomes 120 epsilon r pico farad ab value substitute karenge so dear we have the c equal in now okay we have the c equal in now as c1 c2 c1 c2 c1 is 120 into c2 120 epsilon r right both are in the form of pico farad don't don't forget that okay both are pico farad So 120 pico farad into 120 epsilon r pico farad divided by the c1 plus c2 120 plus 120 epsilon r pico farad. This has given to be 86 pico farad. Yeah, 86 pico farad. Okay. So, kitna hua? 120, 120 cancelled. Okay. Pico farad ek upper se niche aur ek right se cancel. So 120 divided by 1 plus epsilon r is equal to 86. ओके okay. 120 डिवाइडेड बाय 1 प्लस एप्सिलन आर इज इक्वल टू 86 1 प्लस एप्सिलन आर इज इक्वल टू 120 डिवाइड बाय 86 सो द वैल्यू ऑफ एप्सिलन आर विल बी 1 वहां पे सबट्रैक्ट करेंगे तो 90 एंड 4 34 इज डिवाइडेड बाय 86 34 डिवाइडेड बाय 86 और 17 इज डिवाइडेड बाय द 43 ओके इट्स अ एनएटी टाइप क्वेश्चन या एनएटी टाइप क्वेश्चन 17 बाय 43 गाइस लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस वैल्यू Thirty-four by eighty-six. That is seventeen divided by forty-three. Yar, kaha calculation error ho ja raha hai? This is one twenty. One of the one twenty is cancelled. One twenty upon one plus epsilon r is given to you as eventually eighty-six. So one plus epsilon r is one twenty by eighty-six. Right. Zero point three nine five. Chalo, I'll just keep checking. Look into this next question. Look into this next question, and let's try to answer this. Let's try to answer this. Everybody, have a look into the question. I'll just be away. That is what, guys. Some calculation error is there. I have to again check that because epsilon r less than one नहीं आ सकता ना. That is what is striking into the mind. Let me just recheck the calculation. Epsilon not s by d sixty given है. Correct. Okay, then this is air. This is the slab. Okay, c one c two upon c one plus c two किया. C one is uh, thickness half. तो ठीक है. One twenty. One twenty epsilon r. C equivalent. 120 pico farad into 120 epsilon r pico farad pico farads be cancel ho gaya this pico farad got cancelled guys you also correct professor jagdish thank you that's what guys you also be little bit alert that's what i'm wondering how it is the less than 1 how it is the less than 1 okay guys little bit you also be have to be alert 120 epsilon r is divided by 120 तो कैंसिल ही कर दिया मैंने वन ऑफ द वन ट्वेंटी कैंसिल करेक्ट वन ट्वेंटी एपसाइल एन आर इज डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस एपसाइल एन आर इज इक्वल टू एटी सिक्स राइट सो वी हैव वन ट्वेंटी एपसाइल एन आर 
is equal to 86 plus 86 epsilon r giving me 34 epsilon r is equal to 86 and epsilon r is 86 divided by the 34 eventually the final answer now would be 2.52 or 2.53 up to the two decimal place guys 2.53 yes Savarapu Balu correct answer right cool 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 so 2.53 is to be the correct answer 2.53. Let's move ahead to the next question. A coaxial cylindrical capacitor shown in the figure has dielectric with the relative permittivity of 2. When one fourth of the portion of the cylinder is replaced with a larger dielectric of permittivity epsilon r2 as shown in the figure, this one fourth, okay, the capacitance is doubled. What is the value of epsilon r2? What is the value of the epsilon r2? The capacitance is doubled in the second picture. Once again, this is the cylindrical capacitor, okay. As shown in the figure 1 has the dielectric with the relative permittivity epsilon r1 equal to 2. Right, whatever is the dielectric between the plates here is uh, having the relative permittivity of 2. When one fourth of the portion, so one fourth becomes a quarter here because it is a circular cross section. The dielectric is replaced by another dielectric. So, this much is having another dielectric. This is not r1, this has to be epsilon r1 actually. This is epsilon r1 and this is epsilon r1 but this is some another epsilon r2, right. The capacitance is doubled. The capacitance is doubled. Epsilon R1, Epsilon R1, Epsilon R2. Okay. Now, guys, for the figure number 1, what is the formula for the capacitance? Formula for the capacitance. Okay. See, length is not given, so we will assume common length. What is the formula for capacitance of the parallel plate uh, for the cylindrical capacitor? That is given by 2 pi Epsilon L divided by ln b by a b and a are the inner outer and inner radius so what is the outer radius here capital r inner radius here is small r ratio of the outer radius to the inner radius okay what is the value what is l here length dono ka same le lenge length of each capacitor equal to l okay so this is the value of the c1 okay now, yeah, let us say this is simply equal to C1, correct? What is the value of C2? What is the value of C2? Okay, now one fourth of the portion, one fourth of the portion is replaced by permittivity epsilon R2, permittivity epsilon R2, right? But when you apply the voltage between the two ends, when you take it suppose lengthwise and when you apply the voltage, voltage is going to be similar at both the ends and that is why I am going to write down the C1, C2 is equal to, okay, what is the capacitance of this much of the portion? Now see, 2 pi, 2 pi comes up, if you have learned the derivation, you have to go into a little bit detail, okay, if you have learned the derivation of this, 2 pi comes up because of the complete integration, now this portion is 3 fourth, this portion is 3 fourth, right? So, 2 pi into 3 by 4, that is 3 pi by 2 actually, this is 270 degree. So, the first value of capacitance, hoga na, the first value of capacitance will be 3 pi by 2, okay, 3 pi by 2 epsilon. Now, what is this epsilon? This epsilon is equal to 2 epsilon naught, right? This epsilon in the first picture is 2 epsilon naught, right? Here, this is the 3 fourth of the, 3 fourth of the total. So, in this portion, epsilon is 2 epsilon naught, right? So, 2 pi ki jage, 3 pi by 2, 2 epsilon naught into L. Length will be common for both divided by ln capital R by R plus, denominator same hi rahega, plus next will be pi by 2, okay? Quarter, 90 degree, that is pi by 2. Pi by 2 of the epsilon, epsilon here is unknown, that is epsilon R epsilon naught into L into L and this is given to you that capacitance then doubled. The capacitance is then doubled. After this much of change, the capacitance is doubled. This is twice of C1. Okay. So, C2 ko thoda sa simplify karenge. Dear, C2 is going to be, okay, uh, let us take the common terms, whatever you are able to take common, pi by 2 epsilon naught L. Pi by 2 epsilon naught L is common pi by 2 epsilon naught L, 3 2s are then I have 6 there plus 
pi by 2 epsilon naught L. So, then you have epsilon R divided by ln R by R is twice of C1, twice of C1 and put down the value of C1 that is 2 pi epsilon being 2 epsilon naught into L divided by ln R by R. So, many of the terms actually most of the terms will get cancelled. Epsilon naught L cancel ho jayega, pi pi cancel ho jayega. So, 1 by 2, 6 plus epsilon R is equal to 2 to the 4, 2 to the 4 actually 1 more 2 to 8. Right, epsilon naught L cancelled, ln R by R cancelled, right. So, 6 plus epsilon R is equal to 16 and the value of epsilon R should be equal to the 10, should be equal to the 10. Yes, Rohan Goyal, correct. The value of good question, the value of epsilon R must be equal to the 10, right everybody? The value of epsilon R must be equal to the 10, correct? Yes, guys, the answer is equal to 10. Let us get moving ahead with the next question. Consider a large parallel plate capacitor. Consider a large parallel plate capacitor. Okay. The gap between the two plates is filled entirely with a dielectric slab of relative permittivity 5. The plates are initially charged to a potential difference of V volts and then disconnected from the source. If the dielectric slab is pulled out completely, then the ratio of new electric field E2 in the gap to the original electric field E1. Large parallel plate capacitor. The gap between the two plates is filled with a dielectric slab. Okay, and the plates are initially charged to a potential difference and then disconnected from the source. So, you have charged them and then the source is disconnected. So, in both the scenario guys, Q1 will be Q2 because they are charged up to the same level and then disconnected from the source. So, C1V1 will be the C2V2. Now, ratio of the new electric field divided by the earlier electric field E1, but for a parallel plate capacitor, you must know that electric field is simply given by the V by D. It is a parallel plate capacitor and electric field is simply expressed as voltage difference between the plates divided by the plate separation. So, it will be V1 divided by D. Plate separation remains to be same. V2 divided by D. So, it is, oh, sorry, reverse E2 by E1. Na? E2 by E1. So, that is going to be V2 divided by D is V1 divided by D. Okay, DD cancel, so it is simply V2 by V1, but C1V1 is C2V2, so what is the V2 by V1? It is C1 by C2, that is inversely related because the charge is fixed. Okay, so this is equal to the C1 divided by the C2, sir. Is that okay, everybody? E2 by E1 is equal to the C1 by C2. E2 by E1 is equal to C1 by C2. Done? Okay, that is the C1 by C2. That is known as C1 by C2. Now, what is the C1 by C2? Right. E2 by E1 here is the ratio of the capacitance C1 by C2. Firstly, it was containing a dielectric slab. Okay. So, epsilon R, the epsilon will be epsilon R epsilon naught into plate separation divided by D, whole divided by, whole divided by, dekho. in the next case, the dielectric slab is pulled out. So, what is left is air. Okay. But nothing is changed. Okay, nothing is changed. Okay, there is no change of separation. There is no change of the area, right? So, then it is only epsilon naught S by D. So, answer is just epsilon R which is given to you as 5 already. So, E2 by E1 is equal to C1 by C2 and that is simply equal to 5 because the plate separation, the plate area, everything remains to be same. Okay, so answer is epsilon R which is a given quantity 5. Okay, so answer for this numerical type question. The answer for this numerical answer type question is equal to the 5, right? Done? Eh? Cool. Let's go to the next question. Let's go to the next question. Chalo, badia. Let's go to the next question. Okay. Next, ah, once again, an important case. A positive charge of 1 nano coulomb is placed at 0, 0, 0, 0.2 where all dimensions are in meters. Consider the xy plane to be a conducting ground plane and take epsilon naught is 8.85 10 power minus 12. What is the z component of the electric field at 0, 0, 0, 0.1? What is the z component of the electric field at 0, 0, 0, 0.1? Okay, uh, conducting ground plane. Whenever you see a source above a conducting ground plane, you think about the method of images. Next important case. This is a question based on method of images. 
सोल्यूशन बहुत सिंपल ही होगा सो पॉजिटिव चार्ज इज प्लेस एंड एक्स वाई प्लेन इज अ कंडक्टिंग ग्राउंड प्लेन ओके द एक्स वाई प्लेन हैज टू बी अ कंडक्टिंग ग्राउंड प्लेन ओके एंड द सोर्स इज एट जीरो 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 पॉइंट टू Let me take this to be z-axis, and there is a source at zero comma zero comma zero point two on the z-axis, and x-y plane pe z zero hoga. So this is the x-y plane as that is a z equal to zero, which is an infinite grounded metal plate, and there is some charge Q placed here. Okay, as per the method of images, if I apply the method of images, then then this grounded conducting plane. this grounded conducting plane can be replaced just by assuming a mirror whose role is to create reflection reflection of the charge q and it creates a how much is this distance ye bhi rakh lete hain okay this is the charge plus q it creates a reflection of it and we get the image charge which is known as minus q and i need the z component of the electric field at 0 0 0.1 At zero 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 point one, so that is the required point. Okay, where I need the electric field. This is at the distance of. This is going to be at the distance of point one, and because this is zero comma zero comma zero point one, see the value we get. Forget. So image will be at equal distance with respect to that of the mirror. ओके, वी नीड वॉट वी नीड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड अरे बाबा वॉट इज दैट हैपनिंग वी रिक्वायर द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट दिस पॉइंट वॉट इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट दिस पॉइंट राइट राइट चलो लेट्स कंप्लीट दिस क्विकली सो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड हेयर विल बी सुपर पोजिशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड दैट इज इवन ड्यू टू द चार्ज क्यू Doesn't allow me. And e two due to the charge minus q. The electric field E is going to be dear the e one plus e two, and the electric field is simply given by the formula. The first electric field will be k into q. Divided by the distance r one square into the electric field is towards from the source towards the point of observation. So this is the minus that direction. So this is in minus that direction plus the electric field e two, which is because of the minus q charge k minus q divided by the r two square. Okay, and the second electric field clearly is towards the positive z direction. So this is the a z. This is the a z. Dear, once again k. Is one upon four pi epsilon naught, and in the free space, this value is nine into ten power nine. What is the value of R one and R two? So this is the distance R one, and this is point one to point two. Our distance point one, and this much is the distance known as the R two, which is going to be zero point three. Point one plus point two, zero point three. Substitute all the values and get your answers quickly. So this is minus ko outside le lete hain. K is nine pa ten power nine. So K is also common nine into ten power nine. Q value is known to me. Q value कितना है? One nanocoulomb, right? So one into ten raised to the power nine. That is the Q minus B common ले लिया है. A Z B common ले लिया है. So I am left with one upon R one point one का square plus one upon R two. That is the zero point three का square. Let us simplify this. Ten power nine minus nine cancel. Minus nine A Z one upon point one का square. That is going to be hundred actually plus That can be written as hundred by nine. So nine nine can also get cancelled. Nine hundred plus hundred, one thousand. So it is minus one thousand az volts per meter. This is the electric field. Minus one thousand az. Okay. So what is the value of the z component? It is minus one thousand. It is minus one thousand approximately minus nine ninety nine because I have directly taken k as nine into ten power nine. Correct answer. Method of images. Expected question. Hey. Okay. See, uh, 
if it is minus na see uh, morally there are two things either you adjust the minus with the direction or minus with the value of the charge normally we define the direction of electric vector as from the source towards the point of observation okay that is why i have kept like that okay from the source towards the point of observation okay so it be becomes plus z okay if you don't take the minus charge here then automatically it comes down to the minus z it's it's pretty much the same thing either you adjust the sign with the magnet with the charge or either you can adjust the sign with the direction all right Murli. Chalo. Let's go ahead to the next question. Expected important topic method of images. Tha. Important method of images minus 999.09 or minus 1000 approximately is the answer. All right. Double E 22, two marks. Good question. Double E 2022, two marks. Good question. As shown in the figure below, two concentric conducting spherical shells centered centered at r equal to 0 and having the radii r equal to c and r equal to d are maintained at potential such that the potential uh, at r equal to c is v1, potential at r equal to d is v2. Assume that vr depends only on r and r is the uh, radial distance. What is the expression for vr? vr depends only on r. Okay. vr depends only on r. Okay. Now, this question has to be treated with the help of Laplace equation, the help of Laplace equation, Laplace equation del square v equal to 0, but, but vr depends only on r, okay. So, it is only a function of radius, so we can treat this problem in spherical coordinate system, we can treat this problem in spherical coordinate system. So, when you expand the Laplacian equation, okay, in the spherical coordinates, in the spherical coordinates, this equation will turn up to be 1 upon r square del by del r of r square del v by del r and this is equal to 0. 1 by r square del by del r, r square del v by del r. Now, if this is equal to 0, that means r square to right shift shift, okay, still the derivative of a function equal to 0, that means that function should be constant. So, what should be constant? r square del v by del r should be some constant k1, should be some constant k1, then then only the differentiation is 0, it is k1, see it is k1 because clearly mentioned v is a function of r, right, it is not a function of anything else, if it is a function of r and its differentiation with r is 0, so then this whole part has to be some constant k1, okay, Achha. that means del v by del r is equal to k1 by r square. That means, that means del v is equal to k1 del r by r square. Now, integrate both the sides. You are going to get dear v is equal to 1 upon r square ka integral. The integral of 1 upon r square is minus 1 by r plus constant of integral k2. Okay. So, V is equal to minus K1 by R plus K2, minus of K1 by R plus the K2, correct? So, this V is equal to minus of K1 by R, minus of K1 by R plus K2. Okay, this is known as V, minus of K1 by R plus the K2 minus of k1 by r plus the k2 done okay now how to find the k1 and k2 conditions are given boundary conditions potential at the radius r is v1 at the r equal to c is v1 at the radius r equal to d is the v2 okay so they go first condition v1 is minus k1 by c plus k2 and second condition given hai potential if i put the radius equal to d the potential should be the v2 these are the two conditions given to us these are the two conditions given to us. Okay. Now, you subtract kar dije ek bar. Right. If you directly subtract 1 and 2, if you directly subtract 1 and 2, you get V1 minus V2 is equal to minus K1, 1 by C minus 1 by D. Right. K2, K2 cancel ho jayega. Right. So, V1 minus V2 is equal to minus K1 into D minus C divided by CD. So, here I get the value of K1 minus yaha shift karenge to it can be written as v2 minus v1 multiplied by cd divided by d minus c ye k1 aa gaya to how to obtain k2 how to obtain the k2 uh, place this in any equation so we have v is equal to minus k1 by r 
सॉरी वी वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस के वन बाय सी फर्स्ट इक्वेशन में रख रहा है यूजिंग द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन प्लस द के टू सो वी वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ के वन डियर माइनस ऑफ के वन अगेन रखेंगे तो माइनस ऑफ वी टू माइनस वी वन सी डी डिवाइडेड बाई डी माइनस सी डिवाइड बाई सी प्लस द के टू ओके सी सी कैंसिल हो जाएगा तो वी वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस ऑफ वी टू माइनस वी वन इन टू डी डिवाइड बाई डी माइनस सी प्लस द के टू सो वॉट शुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ द के टू द के टू इज वी वन प्लस वी टू माइनस वी वन डी डिवाइडेड बाई डी माइनस सी मल्टीप्लाई एंड गेट डी आंसर के टू इज गोइंग टू बी वी वन डी माइनस वी वन सी प्लस वी टू डी माइनस वी वन डी डिवाइड बाई डी माइनस सी सो वी वन डी गॉट कैंसल्ड इट इज वी टू डी माइनस वी वन सी डिवाइड बाई डी माइनस सी मतलब जबरदस्ती का सब्सटीट्यूशन कैश क्वेश्चन जस्ट अननेसेसरी आई दर इफ दे गिव द वैल्यू ना स्पेसिफिक वैल्यू देन इट इज ईजी अदर अदरवाइज जस्ट एक्सप्रेशन लेंदी क्वेश्चन दे हैव मेड ओके सो नाउ वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वी देन ओके नाउ वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वी फाइनल आंसर माइनस के वन बाय आर प्लस के टू ना आई हैव बोथ द वैल्यूज माइनस के वन बाय आर तो माइनस के वन अगर रखा सो इधन इट इज अगेन वी वन माइनस वी टू ही रखेंगे सो इट इज नोन एज द वी वन माइनस वी टू इन टू द सी डी डिवाइडेड बाई डी माइनस सी प्लस द के टू एंड वॉट शुड बी द के टू इट इज वी टू डी माइनस वी वन सी Divided by the d minus c. Okay, let's have a look into the options then. Let's have a look into the option. Okay, v one minus v two c d upon d minus c r plus v two d minus v one c upon d minus c. Option number b. Option number b. Actually, uh, b or c, both are same. They have. I think there is some typo error here. No. Just a second. It is v two d. माइनस वी वन सी वी टू डी माइनस वी वन सी तो ये भी तो वी टू डी माइनस वी वन सी हो जाएगा करेक्ट ये इनकरेक्ट है एक्चुअली बोथ आर करेक्ट एक्चुअली बोथ आर करेक्ट सो आई मेक ऑप्शन चेंज आई मेक मेक दिस एज प्लस ये प्लस होना चाहिए देन राइट ओके Either this, I'll make it as plus, so that then there is a difference between both. Otherwise, both will be same. Maybe some typo error, not by the gate. Gate में तो question correct था. Maybe there is some typo error here. Don't worry regarding to it. So it is the option number B, dear. It is known as the option number B. Correct. So Laplace equation. This is a question based on the Laplace equation, guys. The next question here is: One coulomb of point charge moving with the uniform velocity 10x meter per second enters the region x greater than zero, having the magnetic field B given to you. What is the magnitude of force on the charge? What is the magnitude of force? Okay. Now force in the presence of magnetic field, a charge moving with velocity. First of all, what is the magnetic F? F or also known as F M is given by the formula Q into V cross B. A charge Q moving with the velocity V in the presence of the electric magnetic field B experiences the force given by Q into V cross B, and it's just a basic substitution question. Okay, so first V cross B, we will get. What is the curl? It's a simple curl calculation, dear. So what is going to be the V cross B? Ax, Ay, Az. First vector that is the velocity vector, and how much is the velocity? 10x. It is only having the x component that is 10, 0, 0. And what is the b component? Okay. Then we can. It is only 10, na. Huh? It is only 10. So even no need to go for cross product directly. We will write down the answer. What is the value of q? One coulomb. This is one into the v. V is 10x. मतलब 10 ax. Cross product with cross product with 10y. ए एक्स प्लस टेन एक्स ए वाई प्लस टेन ए जेड एंड वेन यू आर गोइंग टू टेक दिस क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट एक्स क्रॉस एक्स इज जीरो राइट देन यू आर लेफ्ट विथ एक्स क्रॉस वाई ये ओनली एक्स था ना परफेक्ट सो एक्स क्रॉस एक्स इज जीरो एंड यू आर लेफ्ट विथ ओनली एक्स एक्स क्रॉस वाई विल बी जेड तो टेन एक्स ए जेड ओके टेन एक्स ए जेड एंड एक्स क्रॉस जेड विल बी माइनस वाई तो टेन टेन ज हंड्रेड ये माइनस हंड्रेड ए वाई टेन टेन माइनस हंड्रेड ए वाई बिकॉज एक्स क्रॉस जेड विल बी द माइनस वाई परफेक्ट ओके वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द चार्ज एट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो प्लस मतलब वेन यू टेक एक्सटेंडिंग टू जीरो ना इसकी जरूरत नहीं है नो नीड टू गो फॉर द फॉर्मूला राइट 
एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो प्लस मीन सिंपली एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो अगर मैंने लिया और जीरो प्लस देन द चार्ज देन द फोर्स इज गोइंग टू बिकम सिंपली माइनस हंड्रेड ए बाय वॉट इज द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस चार्ज इट इज वन हंड्रेड न्यूटन देन आंसर शुड बी वन हंड्रेड चेक योर आंसर गाइस वंस अगेन चेक द कैलकुलेशन राइट चेक द कैलकुलेशन एंड चेक योर आंसर या लुक्स गुड ओनली एंड द चार्ज वॉज वन कुलूम ओनली करेक्ट है सो चेक द कैलकुलेशन अगेन इट इज हंड्रेड इट शुड बी द हंड्रेड कमिंग अप एवरीबडी क्लियर सिंपल क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अगेन डबल यू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वन मार्क डबल यू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन मार्क विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वैक्टर फंक्शन रिप्रेजेंट्स अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी अच्छा वॉट रिप्रेजेंट्स अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी वन ऑफ द मैक्सवेल्स इक्वेशन One of the Maxwell's equation, guys, del dot b equal to zero. One of the fundamental Maxwell's equation, del dot b is equal to the zero. One of the fundamental Maxwell's equation, del dot b equal to zero. Divergence and it's all Cartesian coordinates, right? Differentiation of x component with x, it is 10x. Okay, this is 10. X ka differentiation 10. 10 plus 20 minus 30. Yes. Okay. Was it a MSQ question? I don't think. No. 10 minus. Ye to zero ho gaya. Ye zero ho gaya. This is 10. This is zero. Zero. This is minus ten. Zero. Twenty minus ten. Yeah. Only option number A. It could have been a MSQ question, but this is simply MCQ only. This is simply MCQ. But as a question, MSQ can be made. Okay. But they have not made. Actually, twenty twenty one. No, the EC double there was no MSQ only. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty two had MSQs. Chalo. Next question. Next question. Moving up. Guys. Very simple. Na. Uh, so from the b del dot b is equal to the zero, right? Next question coming up here. The magnetic field intensity in a conducting region is given by the expression. What is the magnitude of current density? The direct Ampere's circuit law. Direct Ampere's circuit law question. What is the direct Ampere's circuit law question? Ampere's circuit law. The current density is del cross h. It is a del cross h. Okay, it is simply del cross h. So take the curl of it and get the answer. Take the curl of it and take the answer. So, if I write down the expression for curl, let us calculate the curl here separately. That is del cross h, a x a by a z, del by del x, del by del y, del by del z, and h is x square, x square y square. x square x square y square and x square y square z square. Okay, let us solve this. So this is going to be a x del by del y. That is two x square y z square minus zero minus the a y del by del x. I have taken so two x y square z square minus zero del by del z of x square is zero. And plus when you take the a z component del by del x two x y square del by del y of x square is the zero. But we need this at the point. X one, Y two, and Z one, right? So at the point one comma two comma one, actually, at the point one comma two comma one, this is going to become A X. How much happened? Two into one into two into one, four minus the A Y, right? Two into one into four, so this becomes eight actually, plus A Z two into one into four. This is also eight. Okay. So what is the answer actually for del cross H? Let me write down the answer here. After evaluating 4ax, so it is 4ax minus 8ay plus 8az plus 8az. Correct. So what is the magnitude? They have only asked the magnitude. So magnitude is the square root of 4 square plus 8 square plus 8 square, and then this is going to become. 64, 64, 128, 144 under root of 144, and that is equal to the 12. Answer is the 12. Option number B. Simple question. Ampere circuit law. A very simple question for Ampere circuit law. Done, 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 done. Right? Yes, yes, yes. It is 12. Correct. 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 Next question. All right, chalo. This one is a good one. This is a good one. Have a look into this. 
Okay, two identical copper wires W1 and W2 placed in parallel as shown in the figure carry the currents I and 2I respectively in opposite directions. If the two wires are separated by a distance of 4R, total 4R, then magnitude of the magnetic field B between the wires at a distance R from W1, at a distance R from W1. Okay, let's redraw this picture actually. Okay, two wires, they carry the currents in opposite direction and they are separated by a total separation of D. Okay, the total separation between them is the 4R and I need a magnetic field at some point P which is at a distance R from the W1 wire, this is the W2 wire. So, automatically the remaining distance, this is known as the 3R. This is known as how much? This is known as the 3R. Okay. Now, what is the magnetic field at the point P? They carry the currents in the opposite direction. So, let us say I is current in the forward direction. So, there will be the current 2I. I and 2I, W1 and W2, I and 2I in the opposite direction. So, you can assume any direction. This is I, this is minus I. Okay, and let us assume any coordinates here as well. Let us suppose this is the x axis and this is the y axis. You can assume any coordinates here just to simplify the problem. Okay, so magnetic field at the point B will be the vector sum superposition will be the vector sum of the magnetic fields H1 and H2 due to both the wires. Okay, so number 1 H at the point P will be H1 plus H2. Now, dear, what is the magnetic field? What is the magnetic field due to a long wire? Length is not mentioned, so automatically long wire. Ha, huh, Ananta, this is easy. So, we are solving both the problems, but the syllabus, today we are solving the questions which is on the common syllabus, which is on the common syllabus, right? Which is on the common syllabus. Done? Correct? Yeah, easy ka question. Clearly written. Ananta. Chalo, H is H1 plus H2. Now, due to a long wire, what is the value of H? What is the formula for H? Due to a long wire, long, infinitely long wire, what is the value of magnetic field at any point? Let us say, dear, this is the wire. This is the point. Magnetic field at any point is given by the formula I, I is the current carried by the wire divided by I divided by 2 pi rho. I divided by 2 pi rho into A phi, where A phi can be obtained as A L cross A rho. A L cross A rho. A L is the direction in which the current is flowing. This is known as AL. AL is the direction in which the current flows. A rho is this direction, the direction of the perpendicular line. You draw the perpendicular from the axis of wire towards the point of observation. I repeat, you draw the perpendicular from the axis of wire towards the point of observation. Okay. Right. Right. Hey, EMT. Antenna questions, EM wave will come tomorrow. Right. Anujangra, tomorrow we will have the separate session of EMT, only EC topics. That is antenna, waveguide, transmission line, wave propagation. Wo sare questions kal discuss karenge. You can join that tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So, let us come back here. It is H1 plus H2, dear. So, what is going to be the H1? What is going to be the H1? Okay. It is I, the current I, divided by 2 pi rho. Rho is the perpendicular distance. So, how much is the distance? R, right, into A phi 1. Right. What is this A phi 1? This is known as AL1 cross A rho 1. What is the AL1? Direction of the first current. I have assumed AX. Cross A rho 1. Direction of this perpendicular line. So, if it has Y, then the perpendicular line is in the minus Y direction. And X cross minus Y is minus Z. Okay, so this is H1 discussion. Ho gaya. So, let me write down completely, dear. H1 is minus I divided by 2 pi R AZ. Yeah, minus ko hata dete se. It is given by i divided by the 2 pi r minus az. Similarly, let me also calculate h2 quickly and h2 is again given by the formula current. Current is 2i divided by 2 pi rho. Rho is the perpendicular distance which is going to be 3r, which is going to be 3r into a phi 2. But dear, what is the a phi 2? It is the al2 cross the a rho 2 and what is the al2? 
ओके डायरेक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड करेंट इट इज इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन तो माइनस एक्स ले लेंगे सो दिस इज माइनस एक्स क्रॉस ए रो टू बट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन इज इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन जो कि मैंने यहां पे लिया हुआ है ए वाई सो दिस इज नोन एज द ए वाई माइनस ऑफ एक्स क्रॉस वाई अगेन इज माइनस जेड सो आई हैव द एच टू अगेन राइट दैट इज टू आई डिवाइडेड बाय टू पाई थ्री आर लेट इट बी लाइक दिस ओनली into minus az so that the net magnetic field is given by h1 plus h2 and that is i divided by the 2 pi r minus az first wala tha i by 2 pi r minus az and next one is the 2i divided by 2 pi 3r minus az so what all is common i divided by 2 pi r liya common okay then this is 1 This is टू बाई थ्री एक्स्ट्रा माइनस ए जेड सो टोटल हो जाएगा फाइव बाई थ्री सो फाइव आई डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स बाई आर माइनस ए जेड राइट नाउ डियर वॉट इज द मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ एच देन द मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ एच विल बी माइनस ए जेड को हटा देंगे फाइव आई बाई सिक्स बाई आर एंड दैट इज वाई द मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ बी विच इज गोइंग टू बी म्यू नॉट इन टू एच and that becomes 5 mu not i is divided by the 6 pi r 5 mu not i is divided by the 6 pi r the correct answer for the question would be the c 5 mu not i divided by the 6 pi r then 5 mu not i is divided by the 6 pi r correct okay चलो समटाइम्स समटाइम्स डायरेक्ट मैक्सवेल्स क्वेश्चन कैन आल्सो बी देयर इन द टेबल शोन लिस्ट वन एंड लिस्ट टू रिस्पेक्टिवली कंटेन टर्म्स अपीयरिंग ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एंड राइट साइड ऑफ द मैक्सवेल्स इक्वेशन इन द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ओके सो डेल डॉट डी इज रो बी रिलेटेड टू द गॉस लॉ राइट डेल क्रॉस ई डेल क्रॉस ई फाइनल मैक्सवेल्स इक्वेशन टाइम वेरिंग फील्ड्स के लिए डेल क्रॉस ई इज माइनस डेल बी बाय डेल टी ओके फैरेडेज लॉ Faraday's law of the electromagnetic induction. Del cross H is J plus J D. Modified Ampere's law. Modified Ampere's law and del dot B in any situation is zero, right? That is contributed to the absence of magnetic monopoles. Magnetic monopoles do not exist. These fundamentals also should be very clear to you. Okay, what is this term, dear? What is this term? Del d by del t, that is the displacement current density. Displacement current density, right? Chalo, that's it. Okay, so what is the correct option? One q, two r, then three uh, p and four uh, s. It is the option number A. Then, okay, correct? Eh? It is the option number A. Yes, guys. Sometimes basics can be there, right? All right, all right. Yes, dear. Okay. So almost all questions covered. I think just one or two questions left. But due to another session at ten thirty, I'll have to stop. Uh, due to some another class at ten thirty, so unfortunately, I'll have to stop. Okay, but almost ninety nine percent questions are done. Tomorrow, once again, same time. Tomorrow, once again, same time. Very good. Password bhi bata dete hain. Again, the today's PDF will be password protected. Okay, password protected, and let's keep the password today as flux. Password for today's PDF is flux. Quickly note down. I'm concluding the session. Okay, all right, guys. But almost just maybe one or two questions right left. Rest everything is done. Another class at ten thirty. So I'll have to get free right now. Okay, thank you, guys. So that's it. And once again, a reminder: be ready. Third January, we are all coming live. Subscribe the channel in case it is not subscribed to make your revision super perfect. And lots of the gate topper have benefited. You also be one of them to. make it benefited okay guys bye bye thank you uh, and uh, stay safe tomorrow 10 uh, tomorrow again 9 pm emft antenna wave guide transmission line and wave propagation the ec topics bye bye good night stay safe and take care of yourself